But the games keep coming thick and fast with the FA Cup fifth round taking centre stage this evening at Sellers Park. Wilfred Zaha scored the winning goal when Palace and Stoke last met in this competition back in 2016. As we know, the Eagles made the final that year and they can take another step towards replicating that famous run with victory tonight. Paul Way, here are you. Here he goes through the gears. Still going, here are you. Balls for Elise, urge to shoot. Took a deflection on its way through. Ayu oh, just came alive there. Don't pass three. Tried to slip the ball through to Mateta, then Elise shot. Came off the Palace front man. Smith just had to slightly check his run. That's short as well. In goes Zaha. Away goes Zaha. In behind, Mateta had a look across. Flag stays down for now. Mateta checks back. Keeper dived and no flag does eventually go up. Elise. Here he goes. Through the gears. Goes down. Looks towards the referee. And there are appeals. Robert Jones unmoved for now though. Here's another look at the penalty shout for Palace. Elise making his way into the penalty area. Bit of a tangle. Down he went, looked towards the referee. Sawyers outside of the boot, gets time in a way. Josh Tymon keeps going, the fullback. Made a real mess of it in the end though. Josh Tymon able to bring the ball inside. Attempted to finish with his right boot instead though. Ball over the top. Oh, a slip and they're in here, Palace. It's Ayu, two to aim up in the middle. And Moore was there, a crucial interception. Ayu picked his head up, taking the corner short. Zaha, decent movement, it's going to rattle all the way through into the back of the net. Flag stays down and it's Cecchiate. Deadlock broken. There were one or two nervous looks towards the linesman. A chat between Vieira and the fourth official as well. But it looks as though Cecchiate has put Palace ahead here. Mateta's scuffed effort found its way through to Chiate. Finished really well. Well, it's Chiate's first goal of the season. Still work to be done in this one. Sawyers. Oh, does well. Gets in behind here, Sawyers. Lays it all the way back and in. There really is work to be done. Josh Tymon. And he can celebrate in front of those travelling fans. Palace shocked. Jack Butland robbed of his clean sheet and here's how. Sawyers did really, really well. Ran away from Will Hughes, found himself inside the penalty area. Found Josh Tymon, he found the back of the net. All square at Selhurst. Palace one, Stoke one. Smith now delivers another dangerous ball in. Up over the top in the end. Good delivery, decent header as well by Anderson in the first place. Gallagher and Klein once again. Alise on to Gallagher, blasted across. Agonising stuff for Palace. I'll get another bite at it here, though. Oh, it's back for Hughes. 
just wide in the end. Got Gallagher in behind and that's where he just wanted someone to be gambling. Just outside of the penalty area. Smith's delivery, gets plenty on it, Butland comes a long way. He's out of his goal though, Butland. And that's a key clearance there by Anderson. Butland did well initially, but found himself on the floor. Might be rewarded as well as Jeffrey Schlupp tries to bundle away through. Digs it out, Elise! Not quite. They're not hanging around here. Gallagher's ball in. Comes out to Jai Riedeveld. Back towards goal! And into the back of the net from the substitute! Jairo Riedeveld puts Palace back ahead here. An unlikely goal scorer, but a very welcome one. Bonham beaten. And Palace now will look to see this one out. Jairo Riedeveld only making his fifth appearance of this season. He was lurking on the edge of the penalty area. His first touch brought things under control. And he was able to find the back of the net with his second. Palace 2, Stoke 1. Just waiting for that whistle now. And there it is. Super Pats Palace move one step closer to Wembley. Quarter-final place is secured. Thanks to that man there. Jaro Riedeveld, the unlikely match winner for Palace in the 82nd minute. The Palace march on. Crystal Palace 2, Stoke 1.